Hey, how's it going? Well, something I've taken note of, and people have really gotten pissed at me for, for pointing it out, but most gay men I've ever known have either not had a father or they've had a bad relationship with their fathers. I mean, and for whatever reason, but there's, there seems to be a common thread there. No matter what, being gay doesn't really hurt anyone else, and if, as long as things are between consenting adults, it shouldn't really matter. So as far as people using what I'm saying in this video against gay people, it's like, hey, you can't, you can't prove it's hurting anyone. So, I, I think that if I would have been raised differently, I probably would have been uh, bi. I mean, I think I am most likely bi still, but those inclinations have been sort of raised out of me, so, um, oh, it's a squirrel, um, oh, look, a squirrel, <laughs> literally, <laughs> um, But in this push for acceptance, a lot of people have been trying to deny the fact that it is better. It's, well, I mean, the most preferred uh, way of raising a child would be for a, essentially, you know, a village to raise a child, but we don't live in that kind of time anymore, so the best we can do is hope they have a mother and a father. You know, a man and a woman. You can say, oh, well, well, you know, gay relationships can be just as good not. If they're just exceptional parents, that can be the case, but there's still going to be some things potentially missing, uh, perspective-wise. But let's say a boy is raised by two women, where do they get Where do they get their role models for what it is to be masculine? Or do, you, do we just forget about that? And just hope that they, the way that they get it from peer pressure won't be bad? <laughs> oh, well, they, they shouldn't worry about that. Um, whether you think they shouldn't worry about it or not doesn't amount to a hill of beans as f when it comes to what kids actually go through. You know, they want something to connect with. So... You know, one of the big things that's going on right now is what has been going on for a long time, for, for a few decades now, is the gradual process is fathers being made to look as if they're not important. Oh, well, kids don't really need fathers, and there has been a mindset for years of men kind of being disposable.
but you can't really mention any of that or it somehow invalidates the things that women go through or something but I know for myself, if I would have had, I, I would be a very different person now if I would have had some reasonable male role models in my life. There really is a push to essentially feminize men. There is an article, can't remember who it was, where it was recently, but it it basically just cut through the crap and just, it blatantly said that uh, masculinity itself is, is, uh, is toxic. I wish I could remember the, the uh, publication, but... All right, so this one's an exit. Anyway. So there, there is a push to just sort of get rid of that. And it's just like, you can't, you can't get rid of that. You're gonna, <laughs> what? Some of that mindset is why we have some of the, the nice things we've got. We've and some of the competitive nature and you can't kill that off and expect a uh, 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 civilization to survive. I've said before, I'm, I'm an anti-traditionalist in that if it's a tradition that doesn't, if, if it's a tradition that, that causes harm, I think we should abandon it. But if there's a tradition that doesn't cause harm, how did I just word that? Well, anyway, if there's, <laughs> I meant to say if it's a tradition that causes harm, um, we should get rid of it. But if it's a tradition that doesn't cause harm, you know, you, you can't just keep clawing away at every tradition just because it's old. Um, and if you can say, well, this part of this tradition hurts people, well then, see if there's a way to remedy that part of the problem. Sorry, I'm so silent for, for a little while there. Um, but yeah, I, on forums, uh, for years, people had given me a really hard time because I'd dare to suggest that it's better, it, it's, it's better for someone to have uh, two parents of of the opposite sex than to have two parents of the same sex. Man, it just gets people in an uproar. It's not saying, it's not making a blanket statement that they'll make better parents because any demographic can be shitty parents, any demographic can be good parents. But as a general rule, what's going to be better for the kid is uh, is having 
perspective from from both sides of the aisle. I guess I don't know what more to say, so have a good one.